Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because I'm starting Red Dead Redemption 1. I should say, first, I am a huge fan of Red Dead Redemption 2. I have a ridiculous amount of hours in it. I have the Platinum. It was probably like the only game I played for a good two years. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. So when I say I'm excited to play this, you, you better believe me. Um, I've actually had this game for a while and just been sitting on it. So I'm kind of embarrassed that I haven't played it by now. But honestly, I was sort of waiting till the time was right because I knew that like the amount Red Dead Redemption 2 took over my life, I needed to be ready for that to potentially happen again. Also just a quick disclaimer that I'm recording this in a slightly different way than I usually would because Red Dead Redemption 1 is not available on PS4 and that's how I usually record everything. So please bear with me if stuff goes wrong and there is an outside chance that this might just not work and I have to play the rest of the game in my own time which fingers crossed that that doesn't happen but I'm just warning you now that this might not be the smoothest best thing ever but I'm trying because I really wanted to play this. Also if you hear a really off-putting like licking sound in the background that's my cat licking her butt so just warning you. By the way, before anyone says anything, my my get up today was supposed to be Red Dead inspired, but it's actually just giving like Wednesday Adams goes to Oktoberfest. Look, I tried. Anyway, I'm just super excited to play this game. So let's just go. Exodus in America. John, where are you? There he is! My guy! My guy John, it feels so good to see him again. I'm guessing this is Blackwater then? Oh, they have cars now. Oh, I forgot it's the 1900s. Oh. <laughs> John, you're so badass. Chill up, kid. Who's this guy he's with then? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see you, sir, checking her out. Blackwater. I love Blackwater. It's a cool place. Where are you taking my guy? Hell yeah. Okay, but where's Abigail though? Where's Jack? How old is he now? I need to know everything. Where's Uncle? Well, Where the fuck is Uncle? I one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization. Wait. Subtitle. I need to put the subtitles on. Game. Please let me. Okay. Sorry. The savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land. But they've gained access to heaven. Lady, I don't I don't have words for that. But father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals. But they're happier now. Oh. There's a lot of talk about heaven and hell getting some um, redemption vibes. Not 
only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly. Oh my. <laughs> no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, Jenny, I hardly think so. Keep dreaming. Right, is this new Austin then? Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. Says, family I don't want to be judgmental. Without class. Then judges. Apparently. John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Right, so that guy seems important. I'll remember him. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity oh, we is that have funny the chance to live Farley? among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo! Ah, sorry. <laughs> Armadillo, that's what I was saying. So, in Red Dead 2, this was run down and full of cholera. So, I've never seen it... Um, on its on its feet before. Oh boy. Oh, there's a bit of a delay between my input and what I'm seeing. This is gonna be annoying. Okay, yeah, I've I've played a Rockstar game before. I know how this works. Man, the controls are sensitive. Okay, I'm I'm finding my way to the saloon. Looks like a bustling metropolis. Sometimes. I'm I forgot to do the subtitles again. <laughs> hey, my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. I didn't catch his name because there ain't subtitles. <laughs> nice piano playing, sir. Okay. Uh. Options. Aha! They're here. Crisis averted, everyone. I know you were all very worried if I would get subtitles. Okay, let me... Uh -huh. Back to the game. So this guy, Jake, seems nice. The running speed is very speedy. Biggest thing to happen in Cooch. Yeah! They can flow on the way out of town. No need to kick off a lot of dust. I did not touch you, sir. Fort Mercer. Oh, okay, I remember that place. Slow. There's gonna be a lot I remember from Red Dead 2. Right, can I cross now? Oh, it's Fort Mercer you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Oh, I'm traveling at breakneck oh, speeds. Where'd he go? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Go. It's giving me a lot of information in one go, and Ooh. I'm stressed by it, and the delay is not helping. Fuck's sake. I'm sorry I did not mean to crash into you. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. 
Oh, matching well, speed. If you're there we go. For some there we go. Company, you can do a lot worse than armadillo. Oh, Fine is that so? Cream gravy they are. Not like thieves landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. That's Eat right. <laughs> Sounds like you're being a bit mean to your ladies, my friends. My dudes. This really, it feels so yeah. good to be back oh, it was riding in the desert. Hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Who? Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, are we speeding up? Why are we going so fucking slow, buddy? You ain't very talkative, are you? <laughs> nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. Ever the mysterious man, John Marston. How I've missed you. I won't lie, he, you know, he's nothing like compared to Arthur, water, but... Fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high flute and big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. Blackwater's a decent sized city. I think it's I think it's nice. Yeah, it feels so good to be to be back in New Austin yeah. and have more stuff to do. Me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. A car, yes, sir. He wind him up like a crock. Damn this thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he oh. told me. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Yeah, I should warn you, you may be hearing a lot of my terrible attempts at southern accents. <laughs> So, I, I'm Listen, sorry if I offend anyone. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. Oh. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Well, Jake, it's been real. <laughs> <laughs> he is not amused. Alrighty then, so who's the gang that's taken over? Whoa. I guess we'll find out. I think in Red Dead 2 it was the Del, uh, Del Lobos, but uh, I'd be surprised if they're still here. Hello, anybody home? A man of few words. Williamson? Bill, I'll come for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Oh Don't my god, my stomach. Kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill! You know what? I've even missed Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. He always had an that idiot fair, complex. Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Uh, yes. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore Ooh, he is me? Aged. <laughs> you Surprisingly. implore me. You always were one for Well, he did not age well. Let's see what. Well, things are different now, John. Oh, really? Now I'm in charge. Good shop dog. Is that how it is? No more Dutch. And no more you. Implore. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Oh. <laughs> 
fork ya. What the fuck, Bill? What the fuck? No, sorry, Bill, but what the fuck? My guy just got shot at the beginning of his own game. these guys oh is that um the girl from the train who i thought was bonnie and probably is because i do remember her from red dead online so thank you thanks for saving my guy john new friends old problems okay you're alive so it would seem yay so how do you feel i don't know the polite word for it shitty I do. stupid is the word <laughs> we use around here yeah what you're not you wrong doing? i was oh i was doing something stupid well you'll be okay once you didn't die the doctor said you'd be fine he got the bullets out a couple days ago Good. Oh. It cost us fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars? <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. <laughs> the worst bandit, yeah. Mr. Marston. Yes. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Yeah, hey, I was yes. right. Bonnie McFarland. She seems cool. I like her. You may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. <laughs> Just yeah. like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you seen my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very <sighs> fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, Fallen if you're feeling better, why not I remember take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. Sure, Bonnie. Back some I like of that you. Money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. Fifteen whole dollars. And thank Oof. you for saving my life. I mean, next time. Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, I always forget the, um, the currency, the money was different in that time. $15 was probably quite a lot, and I'm very sorry for wasting your $15, Bonnie. I'm very sorry. Right, what do I do? Bonnie, where are you? Oh, this is so cool. I'm back in New Austin. I've been waiting so long for this because I, I banned myself from playing more Red Dead Redemption because it was getting it was getting dangerous how much I played it. <laughs> Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Well, howdy, Sam. So, yeah. It's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bonnie. I'm still getting the hang of this with the lag and the delay. Uh, where's the important thing I can focus on? There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws okay. such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Oh, thank you. Do Come I get on, to name it? Time for you to what a real ranch looks like. It's pretty. Where are we going? Just around the ranch? Honey, where am I accompanying you? Where where are we going? <laughs> so I'm matching her speed, but she's going very slow. My need for speed is not satisfied. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. 
Very convenient. Alrighty. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Oh wait, yeah. A store on the ranch. That's very cool. Very um newfangled. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but I reckon it I like looks it. Looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Oh, I forgot to look at the corral. I'm sorry. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Oh, Bring nice. We're finally going somewhere. New folk like yourself. Ah, ah. Is that <laughs> such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. So, new folk? Where's he, where's he come from that he's new around here? Because when well, we left off in Red Dead 2, or I mean, I know it's not chronological, That's but he was a beach's hope. When I was just a little girl. Um, oh. Good job, Pa. You made a nice barn. And here we are, back at the house. Wow. <laughs> Pretty worn out. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarlane. Oh, oh. A hitching post. I hate these. Come on, come on. This is this is gonna be very hard. With with the lag. I'm gonna use that as my excuse from now on. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm coming. I am a coming. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston, looks Mr. like he's out for a very long while. telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables. I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. Ooh, because do I get to learn how to shoot? It around this time. Yeah, I remember spending like twenty hours. In this New Austin, um, at night time, looking for this one type of owl for the trophy in Red Dead 2. That was, like, really, really painful. Okay. Horsey time. Where are we going, ma'am? I'm following you. Yeah. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. I'll try my bestest. Can you can you go a bit a bit faster? Or... Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Can we slow down? No, we can't okay. Bonnie, you don't want to go any faster than that. Oh, I well, we're just doing the perimeter watch, right? So. Why Damn it, would we? these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Oh, some rabbit hunting. <laughs> oh my. I I oh, did not mean to get off on that side, but it's fine. Oh. Draw and aim your power weapon. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's no lock on like in Red Dead. In, in Red Dead 2. I forget this is still Red Dead. <laughs> oh, I love lock on aim. Oh wait! Oh, okay, no it does. Well, I'm just gonna like re-aim every time then, because I hate having to aim for myself. Much obliged for the help. You're welcome. Them rabbits can be wily, little critters. They Let's sure get back can. on the horses and see what else is going on! Alright, which one's mine? I forget. <laughs> oh, that one, apparently. Plenty of ground to cover. Yeah, this is a big ranch you got. I think that would be so fun, on, just having a ranch in the desert. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't rabbits never cute. easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. 
sounds stressful. Damn Come on. Damn coyotes are back. We can't oh, afford fuck. to lose any more livestock. Kill him, Mr. Marston. I am on it. Exterminate. Oh, okay. Where are they? Aha. Oh, there is dead eye. Okay. Do I have to stay on my horse? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's taking a while to get back into the controls. Where did they go? Oh. Ah, ha, ha. I see, I see. Is that another, another coyote? Where are they? Oh, oh, I see you. <laughs> Why is this going so badly? Oh, they're eating all the damn chickens. Uh, is there one over there? Oh. I'm sorry, it was all my fault. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, no, horsey, no. No, horsey. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. She is a very nice lady. I like her. She really just came and rescued him from bleeding out. I appreciate it. Here we are. Oh wow, that was another really long track, Miss McFarlane. Oh, oh fuck, I have to hit... Oh, this is not going to plan. Okay, got there eventually. Thanks for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. I'm glad. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Would want to be ya, actually. You're pretty cool. Oh, I don't get to choose how long I sleep. Ah, okay. I can pick up extra ammo from the trunk in my room. Oh, okay. Oh, fame. Interesting. And okay, there's still honor in this game. Nice. Gunsmith around the territory will allow you to buy new weapons. Okay, yeah. Some people even deal in valuable information about the surroundings in the form of maps or newspapers. Okay, well, I'm gonna sleep. Gonna have a little sleepy. Oh, uh, wait, I wanna change outfits. No, John, John, Jonathan. Ooh, this is Master's typical bounty hunter clothing. Okay. Gentleman's attire. Hmm. High stakes poker games in Blackwater. Uh, right, these are all locks. <laughs> right, okay. What if I just put on my suit? Why not, right? Oh, very snazzy. Now nah, I'm gonna change back. No. Right, let's speak to Bonnie. What's Bonnie short for? Bonifa? That's what I'm calling her. I mean, if Jen Jenny is short for Jennifer, then Bonnie is Bonifa. I'm coming, Bonifa. God, that was such a long ride. Bonifa. <laughs> Obstacles in our path. Oh boy, another mission. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Hey. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. Well, funny story. Well, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. <laughs> See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and... By telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. 
I feel like his vocabulary has grown. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> That's not how this city is. Man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. Who but I bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. Oh, hell yeah. We'll see. I'm always down to race. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Well, I'll show you how I ride, which is... Oh, no, there's a pop-up on my computer. I'm back. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Uh. Yeah, I'll show you how I ride, which Come is on. crashing my horse into a tree. That's how the experts do it. On the count of three. Three, two, one. I'm scared. Go! No! How dare you! Oh, oh, I did not realize that was the checkpoint. Oh, I've begun earning the loyalty of my mouth. No, I can't read right now. What? What just happened? No, I'm never winning this. I wish it wouldn't give me the pop-up tutorials while I'm very focused in the middle of doing something. <laughs> I don't, I don't get why it just but it just did it again! Oh! I was doing, I was tapping X too much and it bucked me off, I see. Right, well, so much for this race, right? Oh, oh dear, oh, this is not going well. Oh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> I'm stuck up here! How did you get up here? Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything is happening at once. Come on. Come on, horsey. Don't fail me now. I mean, you've already failed me, but don't fail me more. Yeah. This, this is proving to be pretty difficult. Oh, it'll run faster on road. Oh, okay. Good to know. Ah! It's doing the... It keeps vibrating, I think, when it's about to buck me off. And that's happening way too much. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take me forever to catch up with her. This is terrible. This is it's not how I plan my day going. Come on! Ah, ah, not the ah, oh, good, I missed it. Uh no 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 okay, come on. Come on. It's gonna take me forever to get where I need to go. I actually think the lag isn't that bad now, it's just that I, I can't get the hang of the controls. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> right, so I was just continuously tapping X, but, um,. Apparently in this game it only gives it a short burst of speed and it will kick you off if you do it too much. Good to know. God, how far ahead of me is Bonnie? What the hell, Bonifa? I thought you were going to let me win. Because I'm new to this, except I'm not. Because I've played 900 hours worth of Red Dead 2. Don't tell anyone. Oh, come on. Yeah. I can't get the balance between going fast enough and not having the horse fuck me off. Ooh. Well, she won that by a fucking landslide. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Bonnie, don't tell anyone. That was fun. That was not fun. I had a horrible sure. time. You know... You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. Oh, all right. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Ooh, I'm getting famous. Uh, 
Bonifer has another quest for me. Is that so? Oh, Marshall is available to talk to me. Travel to M on your map. I think I'll do that then. Oh, I haven't looked at the map yet. Exciting. Okay, so I have Southern West Elizabeth. I have New Austin. I have Mexico. I'm very excited to see uh, what are these places? Punto Orgullo, Perdido, and Diez Coronas. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to Armadillo then. Sorry, Bonifer, you're going to have to wait. But I'm I'm setting this waypoint. Uh, where's my horse? Can I whistle for it? I can! Same as Red Dead 2. That's convenient. Let's go, Let's go already. Oh, it's so nice to be back out on the open road. Oh, this is much nicer, just going at my own pace. Continue southwest along this road to get to the Marshall and Armadillo. Okay. Can I greet people in this game? I feel like I can't, but that was one of my favourite things about the second game. Hello? No, I can't greet them. You can save your game from anywhere in the wilderness. Choose the camp from your satchel to put out the camp and save. Uh... Where's my satchel? I can't tell what icon that was telling me to press. Camps can provide you with a horse and additional ammunition if you have none. They will also allow you to travel to any town you've previously visited. Okay, that's fun. Well, if I can just figure out how to make one, that should be fine. Well, okay, it's not the weapon wheel. I can tell you that. Ah, oh, this is all so familiar. It really does look surprisingly exactly the same as <laughs> Red Dead 2 but not that surprisingly because it is the same game funny how that works <laughs> I just love the traveling on the open road with my horse riding through the desert on a horse with no name and that kind of stuff oh can I hunt can I hunt in this game it was uh well I lost it can I shoot the bird? I mean, I probably can, right? It was teaching me to shoot animals. No, I have I have places to be. I'm gonna try and not get distracted because I hope to finish this game at some point in the next uh, 10 million years. Right, armadillo. Kind of want to explore a little bit see what it's like when there's actual people in armadillo oh i could play some poker i'm just gonna check out all the shops hi doctor i'm selling some good tonics if you need them thank you okay i don't need any of this who was doing that screaming um Look, actually, I don't need to buy anything right now because I haven't got that far in the game yet. So I am just going to go and do the mission. But it's cool. It's cool to see Armadillo um, thriving. Kind of. <laughs> Political realities in Armadillo. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. Mmm, <coughs> <laughs> charming. <laughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> oh, he's the marshal? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. Marshall, whatever your name is, you're gross. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them one of them Williamson boys. No, no, no. No, no, no. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? <sighs> I got me one of them I wish he would boys. stop doing that. <laughs> I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Jonah, put your gun down. Jonah, I don't like you. 
You must be the man from Blackwater. That's me. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here. And I've seen enough of yours. So if you would kindly I think there's some school children fuck off. Way you can go and <laughs> oh, hardy fucking hard. You tell him, John. You tell what are you him. What doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. Just I'm being crazy, being funky, having a good time. Kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Uh. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. Respect that. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Now, I'm forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got to do. You sound like a busy really guy. A couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Can I help him out? Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. All right. Sounds like a plan. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? <laughs> Only when things matter. All right. Let's uh. Let's head over to the saloon. Deal with the, we'll deal with these people in the saloon. Let's do that. Marshall Johnson. Okay. This guy seems all right. Not like the other Jonah right. guy. Bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. Money is money. Better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. Oh, good That's point, actually. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Is the dumb rat bastard now? Let's follow him. Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's go, All right. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. As long as it is alive, the horse will come any time. Cool. Him. Oh, so I can leave it as far away as I want. Is that? That's what I'm hearing. Oh no! Too far! Too far! Too far, horsey. We'll um. How do I name the horse though? That's what I want to know. Okay, do not kill Wilton. Come on! Wilton. If Wilton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beat him down while we got the chance? What are you doing back there, Martin? I'm coming, I just don't want my horse to buck me off again. Right, come on, we can chat now. Can't we? I'm loving the off-brand Mission Impossible music. Yeah, I, I feel like I was gonna say something to you, Marshall, and then you just you just said no. We don't get to talk. We don't get to chat. For Pleasant's house. Ah. Let's stop so we can get a better look. Slow down. Looks like we got company, boys! 
Oh, I have to shoot people now. I could barely do the coyotes. We'll work our way up this hill. Okay, I don't want my recruiter. I want to enter an exit cover. Take cover behind the wagon. Found you. Nice. Oh, so I thought to reload. Okay. Ah, no, I forget the controls. I thought it was L1 to sprint for a sec. Uh, it's a bolt over cover. Oh, okay. Blind fire from cover? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Did I? I got him. Behind the outhouse? Where's, where's the outhouse? Oh, it's the yellow. Right, there it is. Right in front of me. <laughs> You can move left and right while maintaining cover by moving L in either direction. Okay. It's giving me so much information while I'm trying to do things. Most of it I knew already, but... Water turns a bounty. Take him alive and you'll make money, you'll lose honor if you kill him. Okay, well where's my last Sue then? Do I have one? How do I take him alive? Oh, by shooting him in the legs? Okay. No! <laughs> no! I got there in the end. Loot body? Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit chaotic, but... Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah! Who there? Well, that was fun. Ooh, I got money. Yay. Okay, um, who else wants to see the old, the old John? Uh, I'm gonna do, go and do Bonnie's mission now. Your honor could be viewed in the stats section of the pause menu. Well, I will try to do good things. I, I definitely feel bad when I upset NPCs. The marshal has left you a long way from civilization. You can quickly travel back to town using the travel to destination feature of your camp. Open your satchel with whatever button that is. Oh, I wasn't done. <laughs> After a battle, you can search the fallen bodies. Okay, I don't. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Is this... Oh, basic campsite. Okay, well, I'll try fast ca fast travelling. You can fast travel to any inhabited location you've discovered. Otherwise, you can place a waypoint anywhere on the map and then travel to the nearest road. <coughs> Let's fast travel. Uh, travel to McFarlane's Ranch. Well, here we are. Bonifa, what are we getting up to today? Sorry, horse, you're just going to have to stay there. This is Armadillo, uh, USA. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some I just came from there. To do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the reins, Mr. Marston. Ooh, I get to learn how to drive a wagon. That's thrilling. I am pressing triangle. Oh, am I trying to get on the wrong side? <laughs> Damn Can it. We stop wasting time I'm and sorry, get on with Bonnie. it, please. I'm sorry. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzing food a couple days ago. We'll be lucky. Oh. I didn't know that would happen. Hop on up, Mr. Marston. <sighs> not this ordeal again. <laughs> okay, this time I will try not to run anything over. 
I think it's kind of funny nice I found you slow. dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense Isn't of Isn't life crazy? Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being ah. Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. That's I true. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern don't go for us less mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Oh, let's not crash into these nice people, shall we? There we go. Ah, no! Oh, we we both did the thing where we tried to move out of the way and then we moved in the same direction. Don't you hate when that happens? You never did tell me where you live! I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. Maybe and she at is. one point during your day of hunting down outlaws, do you find time to raise chickens? <laughs> Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So uh. who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Must be Uncle, uncle. right? Well, he's yeah. not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. He kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. I kind of love Uncle. Oh, I hope to be and him when I'm older. I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Yeah, honestly, Uncle is who we should all aspire to be. How well do you know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Uh. Me and the folks I used to, used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country. Where the old ways still hold true. Still, long, in 1911, damn. New man right? Well... He still may shoot you for it, but at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong here. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston, what dreadful novel did you get that romantic right, trouble are. out of? Those days are long gone, if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cards. Maybe, maybe. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Um, yeah, this would probably make sense if I did it before heading right into Armadillo in to do the other mission. Oh, okay. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. So this I'm is where I buy health. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Did he just fourth wall break the camera? That mountain of yours is gonna get you in trouble. All oh, right. <laughs> well, it's funny that I walked in here earlier and talked to the doctor. And here I am, back so soon. Howdy, friend. Bye. Well, that was easy. Thank you. I'm so good at this game. Medicine and other consumable items are stored in your satchel. Press that button. I think it's select to open your satchel. It's been a while since I've played on a PS3. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. No problem, and the lady. company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. I'll try. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. Okay, so I have many ways to get around. You can now purchase and rent properties? What? Okay, I need to check this out before, before I end the episode. Uh, like in GTA, you can save your game. Each location has a hitch horse and extra ammunition and items. Okay. Uh, how how do I go to the to 
to the blue house. Simple. I feel like I was going to stop, but I do want to try some open world activities before I do. New items are available to purchase from stores. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting the feeling then that the blue house symbol is just not something I can interact with in the game, but like on the map or something. I'm gonna have a drink. Oh no, I wanted to help the person. Oh, what is happening in the background? Oh my god. Oh, I have $24, right. Here I am, having a drink while well, there's a, <laughs> a bar fight going on in the background. Well, boy, am I sure glad I didn't get involved in that. Sorry that happened, guys, but that's not my responsibility. Um, is that a bounty I can do? Let me check on the map what the actual icons are that I can do. Uh, wanted poster. Five finger fillet. F f fillet. Fillet. I don't know. Stagecoach. General store. Vacant property. Gunsmith store. Doctor's office. Can't. What? What is that? What is? What? What's the thing under? American appetites. What? A side mission. Movie house. Oh, I'm gonna check out the movie house. Let's see what's there. Let's watch a nice picture show. Oh, that is a stranger mission. Okay. Well, this is cute. Oh, it costs two whole dollars. You're ripping me off. Thanks a lot. To watch a movie, man, the world has gone wild. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was a great movie. Um, I, I don't, I just wanted to check it out without actually bothering to check it out. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll, I'll go and do the wanted poster. Um, accept bounty. So who is this gentleman? Last seen in Mercer Station. Oh, that's far. Uh, why is everyone screaming? Where's Mercer Station? I'm guessing it's there. All right, I'll... Mo Van Bar. That's a name. Okay, I'll set a waypoint. Horsey. Oh my god. Can I shoot them? No, I don't want to break the law. I just wanted to check if there are any stables or anything like that nearby um, so that I can name my horse because that's very important to me. Um, doesn't look like it. Damn. Horse. Horse. Come. Ah, there he is. There's my guy. Well, I'll give him a name, even if it's not a formal name, if there aren't stables in this game. So, in Red Dead Redemption 2, I know a lot of people name their horses normal things, like Dusk or Storm or Ghost. Uh, oh, skills like hunting and sharpshooting can gain fame and, fame and money across the land. Okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people give their horses normal names, um, but I am not one of those people. My horses in Red Dead 2 were called Meaty Trent and Colossal Brenda and uh, there are a lot of other ones but they all followed the formula of like random human name plus adjective. So I'm feeling like I might call this one like Mighty Phil. Should I call him Mighty Phil? Mighty Phil the horse? I like that. You are now christened Mighty Phil, nice to meet you. Also, who the fuck are these guys and why did they just come up next to me and bother me? I don't like them. Okay. Let's go. Kill the bounty target. Well, if I can kill him, that makes it nice and easy. Let's try dead eyes. Uh, where are they? 
Where'd you go, fellas? Oh, for fuck's sake, horsey. Come on. For fuck's sake, Phil. Sorry, I forgot I named him. No. Oh, I'm not... I don't know how I take medicine yet. So... I've kind of screwed myself over. Okay. One down. Maybe one to go. I sh probably should not be moving at the same time as shooting, but... Oh, hell yeah. Well, it don't matter how the sausage is made. It just matters that I made the sausage. Okay. There must be looted for a proof of kill. Okay, I've got to remember that because I feel like I'll forget. Take the bounty proof to Armadillo Jail. Well, come on, Phil. Mighty Phil. I like that name. Let's go. I did also, um... I went through a phase of naming my Red Dead Online horses after just like famous people. So I had a uh, Lindsay Lohan and I had a uh, Kate Blanchett. Oh, for fuck's sake, are people after my bounty? Well, you're not getting it. I, I can't be bothered to shoot them, so I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> oh, okay, must I shoot? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I missed. Oh, oh, so much is happening. Ah, did I get him? Okay, I think I got him. Ah. Why are there just people, random people on their horses following me all the time? Get off my ass, dude. I'm just trying to ride around the desert on a horse with no name. Except he does have a name now, it's Mighty, Mighty, it's Mighty Phil, I'll have you know. Marshall, I have your guy. You found that no good piece of dirt, thank you. Hey, you're welcome. All right, I'm gonna end the episode there, but that was so fun getting back into Red Dead World and playing as John again and exploring New Austin a bit. Um, It was cool to meet Bonnie. She seems very cool. I enjoyed that. Um, it's take me, it's gonna take me a bit of a while to get used to the controls and everything. It always does with a new game. But yeah, that was really fun. Thank you so much for watching though. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, it would be really cool if you left a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. That would also be cool. But I will see you in the next video. Uh, hopefully more Red Dead because this didn't go too bad the lagging was not too bad but yeah i'll see you then bye